Hi. The first thing to know about a press release, the media is not looking to do you any favors. If you can't hook them in a few seconds on what's in it for them, you're out. They want one thing from you. Help to feed the beast, the relentless need for good stories every day to attract their audiences. On the press release, they are sent by email, so make the subject box phrase count. It should be active tense and enticing, no more than five or six words. Here's an example. Governor plans press conference on taxes. That's okay. But gov to call for tax cut, that's better. New technology plant to open in Albany, that's all right, but better is 300 high-tech jobs coming here. Make the release eye-friendly. If it looks too long or too hard to read, it likely won't get read. Keep it short, no more than two or three paragraphs, and avoid jargon. Here's a doozy example from a government site. The New York State Department of Health and the acronym, the Bureau of Maternal and Child Health announces the availability of funds to support community-based programs to improve maternal and infant health outcomes, including preterm birth, low birth weight, infant mortality, and maternal mortality rates. Pretty catchy, hey? Consider this instead. The state has new money available to improve the health of kids before and after they are born says the same thing better. The best writing is conversation on paper. Make your point and have a link to further information if they're interested. Think visually. A PR Newswire study reports using visuals in a release makes it 10 times more likely to be read. So create an inventory of pictures and videotape that help tell your story and share them with the media. We talked about help earlier. Do some homework for them. This is the wrong approach. Call them up and say, hey, you should look into this story. Well, they've got enough work on their plate. The right approach? Hey, I've dug up some interesting facts and I have the verification right here. Tell them something they don't already know. Be aware of who you're sending it to. The health issue? Send to the health reporter. Education issue? To the education reporter. Pay attention to who covers what. And don't forget to have a phone number in plain sight. That omission can drive the news desk nuts. Be available. Many times the people who get covered are the first ones to answer the phone. These are just some of the basics. There's many more. Let me know if I can help and good luck.